how fun. Well, Happy New Year. It's going to be a great year. Now, are you all making your resolutions? Your first resolution is to clean up your quilt room, right? That's on my list. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I have something to help you get your AccuQuilt organized. You ready? Okay, roll it in, David. Woo! A very compact new table oh you could put you could spend your christmas money on this huh <laughs> so there's two of them and this is the one that i just had delivered into my sewing room because i have a lot of vacuum quilt a lot of dyes and everything like that but this is a new one it's smaller it's about it's it's actually half the size but whenever you open up the table ooh, like this ah so now you could have your lunch on it, or you could put your AccuQuilt cutter right here. You could sort all of your fabric. The one thing that's new on this table that I absolutely love is that little table. I'm going to swing it around. Swing it around. It's got good wheels. That's what we love about it. Woo, like that. Do you see the, 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 um, the tray? Yeah, there it is, the little extra tray to put at the end of your go big it's right here. Okay. has its own place in it. Is that cool? Yeah. Now everybody go, ah, ooh, is that cool, Alan? I like it. I know, because then you can put it, well, we'll move it back onto our go big, but it's really fun. And actually this time the shelves are permanent. So you don't have to try to figure out how to install those shelves. I already went through that. It takes a degree <laughs> to figure out how to stick those little things in there and get that all in there. And it actually has a separate little yeah. um, compartment that you can use all of your big dies for. So Orion was saying if your dies are on a shelf and they're kind of just hanging there and really over, it's, it starts to bend. So um, this will help you keep, if you don't have many of the large dies, this will help you keep them upright and safer. So, yeah. How do you uh, like it? I love it. I think he knew this but one was I have out. this one, but do you think I could have this one now, too? Yeah. <laughs> I think I deserve it, don't you? <laughs> you must have a big room. <laughs> well, years ago, my, when I had my sons living in my house, and then I had this wee little sewing room, and they had their wee little bedroom. But as soon as they moved out, Orion immediately came in with a sledgehammer and whacked that wall out between the two of us. So I have more room. Oh, but anyhow, it's my garage. It's full of unfinished projects. I told you. 150 unfinished projects because I have actually counted them. Uh, yeah, no, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay, so we have a really cool lesson for you. I can't wait to show you. There are two different quilts here. We're going to do the signature block and the bow tie block, and both of them are really fun. Good? Yes. <laughs> the first one that I'm going to show you is the signature block, and I had to bring this antique quilt in because I think it's the coolest signature block ever. It is from the late 1800s, oh, and, and oh, it's, it's, it's okay. big. Woo! Uh, is that nice? Isn't it beautiful? I'm thinking that I should probably get this hand quilted, don't you? Well, the signature block is nearly always just a light strip. And this particular one, they turned it into a star. This is more elaborate than most of the signature blocks. But I wanted you to see this one. And then they finished it off with the half square triangles around the border. But what is the most incredible thing is that the person, one person did all of the initials of whoever these blocks are from. And if David, if you can go so close because these are like, like three-eighths of an inch initials. Wow. Can you see that? Yeah. And it's hand done. 
I just think that it's so amazing because I looked on the back side and I'm just going to check because I think it was all hand pieced. <coughs> Everything in here <coughs> is hand pieced. Triangles are pieced. Oh, Did yeah. You see that? The little triangles are pieced themselves. I, I know. Like where they ran out of fabric or something? Or I know. I, feel, I go, I hear Tony's voice. You just came <laughs> running right up here. You just wanted to fondle my antique That's quilt. <laughs> It is. It's, these are all hand-pieced and the stars. Actually, we could do this all on our AccuQuilt cutter. But this is not the one we're going to do today, okay? That sounds good. But isn't it beautiful? And I, um, I'd like to get it um, hand-quilted. There are a couple of issues with the border. I'm not sure. And one of the stars. But it, I mean, look, it's over 100 years old. It's allowed to have a couple of issues, huh? And I'm fortunate if that was a little mouse nibbling on the border, he didn't get too much. See, there's little age. And see, I just want to tell you how much we stress when things don't all line up. Well, in the 1800s, they didn't stress when the borders were too short. All they did was put a little bit of extra fabric right on the end, and that was it. Good, huh? <laughs> so really, really pretty. And I will show you the back of it. It is all, um, I haven't laundered it, but you know, actually I see that the pieces were done, but it looks like they set the blocks together by machine. Right, Tony? Mm -hmm. cool. They set them together. Is it cool? Yeah, that's it beautiful. It's beautiful. I really love it. That's but a signature block, it's signature blocks worth, just think about the people making the pioneer movement across the country. Friends in the East would make little signature blocks and put them together into quilts. Many times people in a church, if the pastor's leaving, they all make a signature block for the pastor leaving. Anybody um, as a wedding gift, everybody at, at the wedding will sign a block. So they're just very, very typical, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do. The next one we did in our AccuQuilt, um, a weekend retreat years ago. Isn't that sweet? I think it is very, very sweet. And basically, it's this block right here that is the signature block, and then it has corners on it. Typically, the signature strip was white, so people could sign on them. Just really, really fun. And um, then on this one, we took the same strips that makes the corner of this signature block and just turned it into a little um, ribbon border around the outside edge. Looks beautiful, huh? Isn't it sweet? Oh, show the back. And I've got to tell you a little secret. We. We kit this here at Quilta today, and when we were kitting it, Sue and I said, oh my gosh, we have so many ugly pieces. Let's put them all together. <laughs> and so these are our ugly pieces. Aww. They look good all together, don't they? I know, we always, so I described the quilt to Sue the other day. I want that one with the ugly strips. She said, I know exactly the one you want. <laughs> So there it is. Okay, the next one is one I worked on my Christmas vacation. I had a wonderful time. So much fun that I couldn't wait to show you. Ta-da! Isn't it cute? It's very, very cute. It's very, very fun. Um, this is actually um, a line. They, uh, this was all a layer cake. I cut up a layer cake. And I actually had two 10-inch squares left over. It was from Lori Hold. It was Farm Girl. It's so Farm Girl, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's just very, very <laughs> cute. I really loved it. And this is a matching border that I put around the outside edge. There's 35 blocks in it. It's 5 by 7. The block itself is four signature blocks. And... I'm going to show you the piecing and the, the pressing. And it has two different borders, so I could keep two blocks separate. 
I have two, or backgrounds, should I say borders? Backgrounds. There's actually two different backgrounds, but this was one, and this, I used the background on the opposite. This was just a plain background. I used it on the opposite. It's the secret. Only you will know. What size block? Um, eight. It's an eight inch block. Do you like it, Jane? Yes, I, do. I love it. I think it's really, really fun. So now you know what the signature patch looks like. The signature patch um, actually comes from, it's the companion set called Corners. This is, goes along with mix and match eight inch. Every uh, one of your mix and match has a corner block to match. And I did it from the corners and um, David liked that signature block so much. Oh, okay. So that he used it in his border on his sampler. Isn't that nice? See, he took the six inch blocks, he took the, the six cube, and then was this a six companion? Yes. So that's how it works. If you have a mix and max, mix and match six inch cube, then you do the um, companion six inch for corners. That is, I love this. I love all of his, look at his um, bright roses. Isn't that cute? The bright roses are really nice, fussy cuts. Oh, Patty's going to love it. She uh, loves Harry her. And Alice, the fabric line. Harry and Alice by Riley Blake. Harry and Alice mm -hmm. by Riley Blake. That's very cute. Naming it after um, two people. That's very unusual, isn't it? But I think it's really cute. Was it a layer cake? It was yardage. It was yardage. Yeah, I made my um, 12 cube. At, it's exactly the same. Oh, okay, so this is what he did. He said, I told him that I wanted to have a 12 cube <coughs> quilt on the bed and a six cube on the wall. He told me that I said that, and so he made them. I said, when did I say that? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I guess it's true, huh? <laughs> so that the signature block is the first one that I'm going to show you. And you just got some handouts on that with the yardage. But now we're going to show you some of the bow ties. The bow ties are also in the same companion set corners. OK, the bow ties the same. And so this was one that I did a while back. I love the um, reproduction look. This work looks so good in my log house. 1800s, this was total scrappy. So I just cut and cut. And then I mixed up the bow tie block with um, little four patches. And I don't know why I was out of my mind, but I did even smaller four patches inside bigger four patches. <laughs> that is little, huh? But anyhow, it was really fun to do. And we have something that's really fun. Orion told us about this. This is a set. Okay. The okay. Yeah. And yeah, Teresa is not mic. We know that. And so Orion actually got some um, some really <coughs> cool combinations, some deals. There are two um, two dies in here, and I don't know why we. Well packed. Am I allowed to no. open them? I'm not allowed. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Anyhow, there are two dies that you need, obviously. The one for the bow tie. This is the bow tie. And then there's a second die, these little corner guys. So you can get it separately like this. This is just really a fun one. Yeah, and this one is only four inch finished bow tie. So if you can go really close, I don't know, David, you can see them. David sent me a text me a picture of three inch bow ties. And I got all excited. I thought it was his antique and that we were gonna have it to show. And he said, nope. Online, 
some person out of their mind made three <laughs> inch bow ties. I think she did a thousand, don't you, David? Yeah, it had to be like 1,300. 1,300 <laughs> bow ties. And let me tell you, they are really fun. But if you just want to do bow ties, um, these are for four inch finished. And do you have different, you have different we sizes? Have different sizes. We have different sizes. We have, so you can just get this cute little um, set and do your bow ties and I'm gonna show you. I had so much fun with my bow ties. I have a very long dining room table. Yep. You know my dining room table will sit about 18. It's really fun. But anyhow, um, I just took two charm packs. I took a, like a multicolored charm pack and cut my bow ties and my little uh, triangles right here. And I took a second uh, charm pack of just white. Just white squares. And in those two charm packs, this is what I actually got. So it was a lot of stuff. It's cute, isn't it? Even the side triangles were cut from those uh, white charm squares. And then, of course, the border. And Amy quilted it? Amy? Um, yes. Amy, oh, you have to see the back. It's adorable. Is it cute? Isn't it cute? It is really cute. I enjoy doing it. I, I enjoy everything. I'm going to tell you on every quilt, I love this quilt, but it's true. <laughs> and the next quilt I really love. I can't wait to show you. So Teresa and I both did Christmas vacation. We're running a little behind, but this is what she did yesterday. Oh, I knew you'd say that. Isn't that cute? Isn't it adorable? So it is really fun. It is more of um, a farm girl around in the border. And I'm going to tell you, farm girl here and the triangles for the bow tie. Do you see this quilt on the wall? The quilt on the wall oh, when I was cutting that one. OK, are you going to stand there? Yeah, no, yeah, you can stand. You can stand right where you are. Okay. Open it up. Okay, so when I was cutting Farm Girl signature blocks, I had some corners I couldn't waste, so I cut the little corners for my bow ties, and I put them right into this little little blocks. So ah, look, she's Janice going. Oh my gosh, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? I thought I was so clever when I did that, and I can't wait to show you how. But then I just got another charm pack of very solid-looking pieces of fabric, so I could use all the cute little quaint prints in my in my triangles. And <coughs> Teresa said, "Ooh, I have the coolest setting to do." And so those are just like both uh, little four patches down through the middle. And all we really got done, just to say all we really got done, was the quilt top. But if you look at your handout, it is the last, just flip it over completely. The pattern that I want, we're going to work first on our signature block. So you need to have a signature pattern in which I did not get one. No. Okay. Neither one, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, the one that you won is says the signature quilt. And for the the people that are not in the audience, this is going to be in my new book. I'm just um these people are, you get a preview, right? I took out my um, little signature block. And I can't wait to show you. This is in the corners. This is what the signature die looks like. Cool? Cute? OK. So I started out with my layer cake. And you can go ahead and just open. You can just open to page two. 
of where your little signature quilt is and follow along with me. How's that? So I took my layer cake. It's 10 inches, right? Yeah. And I just folded it. It's so simple. This is what I love whenever you use like the pre-cuts. I love the pre-cuts because they're already all color coordinated. The, uh, the designer spent a lot of time color coordinating and cutting them. So when you just cut them, you just fold them in force, right? And this is the um, number 10, shape 10. And no matter what size you are doing, you can use shape 10. Shape 10, and it's this one is four inch finished. So you just lay it on so you completely cover the, all of the metal blades. Right? There's metal blades. For anybody that hasn't been in here, there's metal blades in here. And I have a total of four layers, which is really good. And I'm just going to like stack them up right there. And then you have to pick a mat that is the same size. Doo -doo. So you just cover it. And I'm using the Go Big. After moving all of my Christmas boxes in and out, I need the go big. <laughs> oh, we need that. Um, can you steal that um, little tray from the other? Alan, you're on it. Thank you. This is why we need this, right? Are you going to get the second one just so you can get that? Huh? Is that cool? OK, so this is so whenever a die goes through. OK, so when you cut your um, patch, you just give it a spin so it doesn't all fall apart, right? I pressured it, and then, ta-da! I have four perfect ones right here. Ooh. Four you can make for a block, but these are all the same. You want to make four different ones, right? OK, so and then I go, oh my goodness. Look at these good corners here. I can't throw these on the floor. Nope. No way. I can't throw them on the floor. So I got to get my scissors. Yes. And I'm just going to cut these long, narrow things away because I don't want this stuff, right? But look, these are perfectly good corners. OK, this you can get rid of. But these good corners, aha, the light bulb goes on. I can use these for the bow tie. Yay, you got it. OK, bow tie, bow tie, half square. Look at these little guys. These are really little, huh? OK, this is also from the corners die. The shape is 12.1. And so you just place it like that, one, over, there's four there. And then keep these all together. And just stick these and put these on the corners. Ooh, am I cool, huh? Well, this is already cut. So you have to take another 12, 10 inch square, right? I mean, why waste all this good energy, right? So take that one, fold that up, take these. They're all ready for sewing. Put this on like this. I told um, Brenda that I had this revelation, and she said, I don't know how you could have any revelations over bow tie and signature block. <laughs> Where's Brenda? Is this a revelation? OK, so now I have two dies, right? Huh? Is that good? One, two. Got two dies. I got the go big. Da, 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 da. So you just push them through there. Oh, that didn't look very good, huh, Eric? So now, thank you. So now we just got to apply a little pressure. This, I'm not going to save. This will work fine. This will work fine. And now, 
I got my triangles for my bow tie. And at the same time, I have my signature block. Oh, don't mess these up. Save these corners. And then you just keep on going. Is that easy? Is that good? Yeah, I know. And I, I go, oh my gosh, I love doing it. And I just took all these little, real little things and got rid of them. I got the coolest box. And I just kept on cutting and cutting and stacking them all up. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I know. I think it's so cool. And... Alan laughed at me. Alan, I have a little box just for you. It's empty. <laughs> it had my Christmas necklace in it. Ooh, aren't you excited? Okay, so anyhow, you can see how to cut the signature. Oh, there's one more cutting for the signature block. We have to save this because that's my little corners. These are my bow ties, have to save these. But you see the signature block has larger triangles. Okay, that's not gonna fit there, right? So you have to go into your mix and match, mix and match, eight. This is shape number five. These are two triangles right here. Okay, and I think your paper says that, right? On the front page? It tells you, right? I think it says everything. We really tried to get it all. Okay, so these triangles, if you take, um, you have to have two of them, which I'll go around the table and show you in just a minute. But you have to have two different backgrounds for your bow ties to help you with your pressing. You're going to press one fabric one way and the second fabric the opposite way. And so if you do two fabrics, it helps you. Okay? Got that? And it says that. So just take a three and three fourths inch strip, I believe. Fold it in half. Fold it in half again. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, I cut it in half. I cut, this is a half strip. Cut, retake, I remember. Okay, and just now fold it basically in thirds. I have the half strip, I fold it up in thirds so that it will fit on this die. Got it? Right, right. And it said it's actually how many layers for those of you that are new? Tell everybody how many they can cut at one time. Six. That is six layers. That is six layers. And so these are our triangles. And so I'm going to get these cut. Doo -doo. And Teresa, I'm going to ask you to cut, to come and cut more this one too, okay? So I can get around the table and show, um, show everybody what I'm doing. You could, and Teresa is doing that. Thank you for asking, Joanne, because Teresa has something to show you. Right now? Uh-huh. Okay. Your box. It's your box. My box. Okay, she only did one background. She divided all of her fabrics in half. These are... Um, four inch signature blocks and Teresa did five inch. Mine was from corners eight and Teresa's were from corners nine. So the bigger, you know, the larger number they all change. Okay, the whole thing that I'm so excited to show you today, our big secret, don't tell anybody, okay? Only you will know. So you have perfect matches and everything locks together in the whole quilt. Wow, is that cool? Okay, so the whole secret that, that I'm doing is if you look at the backside of this, 
you can see a signature block. These seams are pressed in, pressed in, and these seams are pressed out, okay? So there are always two in, two out. So we got innies and we got outies. <laughs> and when you do that, you always swirl the center. You have to swirl the center. And so basically, this is the whole lesson. The, um, see how they all, they all lock together? And now, when you do that, whoops, although Teresa, she, she, did, she did X's and O's. She did X's and you can also do O's, so it doesn't matter. But the same thing with the bow tie. This is my Halloween bow tie. I didn't know what else. This was black, it didn't get in the quilt. So this is the same thing. It has the seams right in the middle. There's four units. There's two print, there's two white. And when you look at the back side, the white, I pressed away from the white toward the triangle. And on the black, I pressed toward the bow tie. So they are also opposites. One is going in, one is going out. And then I swirled the center right in the middle. So they all go together. And that's why they're so much fun. You got to do that little trick. All right? OK, so let me see my pattern. So I've got a whole stack here, a lots, of, lots and lots of stuff. So I have my two background triangles, and I'm going to take these and I'm going to make two stacks. They're they're kind of light. They were only ones left from my um, uh, from my layer cut layer layer. Um, Cake, layer cake. So now first I'm going to um, divide them in stacks of two. There were a total of four, so I'm going to put two and two, right? Mm -hmm. And on two of them, I'm going to put the first background, which is just plain. And then beside it, I'm going to do the second one, which has a little bit of texture. OK? So you have those two setups, and that's just to help you remember how you're supposed to press, right? Okay, so I love my, okay, could I have my paper back? Sure. So Teresa said, okay, L, I remember. And now you, I just showed you, we're on page three, right? Yep. On page three, okay, it's a quarter inch seam. It's uh, 15 stitches to the inch. I have my sew straight on my machine. I have my quarter inch foot on. I love it. Okay, so I am just going to take one stack. One stack. This is so simple. So easy. Flip it right sides together. And this is what's really cool. If you've never used the AccuQuilt, see how those edges line up? So where are those new people? Look at this and go, eat your heart out. Ooh. Ooh. And there's no squaring up. Ooh. Excited? So all you're going to do is just take your triangles. Do you remember what shape I cut these triangles from? It's a test question. OK, so all I have to sew, I'm just going to do two. And then once you finish one side, you do not have to um, cut it apart and press it. All you have to do is just turn the whole strip around. You're going to get the same background and put it on the other side. Doo, 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 doo. So this is too exciting. And, and you know, whenever you have Christmas time, oh, no, I went too fast and I lost my thread. But I just did that on purpose so you could see how cool it is to thread my baby lock. Okay, I wrapped it around. I'm pushing the button. 
And I'm pushing the button. But oh, it says check the upper thread. You need to close that. I need to close that. Come on. Press the button. Whoa. Is that good? So don't be a hot shot. Don't start out so fast. Start out slow so you don't lose your thread. Okay, so Teresa, okay, you guys are organizing. Are they buying that already? Yes, we're shipping it out right now. Oh my gosh! Make sure Orion knows I want another one too. Oh, I have too much clutter. Somebody's watching it. Yeah, we have too much clutter. Okay, Teresa. This is the first signature block and with the first background and I'm looking at number five and it says what to do. Set the seams with what on top? Triangles, Triangles on top. Then open and press toward the triangle. Okay? Okay, so Teresa's over here. I don't know if you um if you're going to go Yeah, set the seam. Set the seam with the triangle on the top. Okay. Just open and the triangle will just go right there. And so now that is basically the first background. Good, yay! And show it from the back side. Cool. There you go. Okay, and so I now have this the second stack of signature blocks. I have the second background, right? Are you on the next page? Is the, is the instruct, are the instructions good? <laughs> we didn't get nearly as many pictures in as we would like, but in the um, book, in the new book, there'll be more pictures, but um, it'll be really fun to have more samples too. It's just really fun to do. Okay, so I did the same thing, triangles down one side. You don't have to um, clip apart, just turn it around the other way and put the second background on the second half of the signature blocks. Are you with me? Okay, I was afraid I was gonna get you, get you uh, confused and blow your mind, but I didn't. Did you hear that, Teresa, or Brenda? It's fine. Okay, so this time we're going to press it different and just look at it. Are you flipped to the second one? Yeah, you, it actually says you start with the signature on top. So you set the seam with the signature block on top. Just set the seam. And then see, she just lifts up the signature block. And whenever you open it, turn it over. So now you see the seam is going towards the signature block. See that? Okay, so now you actually have a second time. You can just set the seam with the signature block on top again. And then just open and press toward the signature block. So this time they're totally opposites. Good. I have a stack. Cool. All right. So keep your blocks. You like that? Okay, see, I have those two blocks. I have the um, one with the background, seam pressed. It's actually pressed in. Wait, I did it actually the opposite colors. But I, okay, I need two of these, right? Two of these. So which two? Two of these, good. How about this? How about these two? How about how about these two? Okay, they're opposite, right? They're opposite. Okay, now I have these two, and these are going to be the opposite. 
And so, how about that one? Is that cute? How about that one? <coughs> Too much blue? Okay, fine. The yellow will kill it, but let's see. Is that nice? Is that good? Okay, yay. So, they, you have two of each per block, and we were having a little bit of trouble trying to get that looking good in the picture, but can you see that? And if you want to, I'm on page five, right? Okay, so just mark and say, um, block, which is block uh, background one, two, two background one, two background two, right? Okay, so when you flip them together, then they lock. Whoa, are we excited about that? It's magic. They lock together. And whenever they can lock, I'm really happy. I'm very, very happy. So Orion and I were having the discussion. Very important how you press your seams. Orion and I were having the discussion the other day. And he said, how come, Mom, you can't remember all the time how to press your seams? And I was really hurt. And I went home. I started thinking about it. So I took my calculator and I figured out how many blocks I've done. I started counting seams. And do you know that I realized I have told you how to press over 20,000 seams? I said, Orion, do you get it now? <laughs> I go, okay, but anyhow, once I figure it out, I write it down. Aren't you happy? And then I don't have to keep on rethinking it. But anyhow, just make sure you do opposite seams and everything will lock together. Okay, so I always go down and now you open up and you flip it right sides together and now you lock these seams, they all just slip right into each other. And at this point, I always like to push the top seam up and the underneath seam down. And I call that swirling, swirling, and it works really good, okay? The little jumper, yeah, she said, here, you can use the little jumper scrap. Okay, I picked it up. Come to me, see, I did it, I did it. You guys can know better than me, huh? I'm on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going over that and I'm just over that center. The top seam is pushed up, the underneath is seam pushed down, another locking right there. Just lift it up, hold it with your stiletto. So across there, woo! Cut the threads, check it out. Ooh, good. Look at that. Ooh. Perfect, huh? And everything locks all throughout here. Everything locks. And then when you put your blocks together, they will also lock. So I, I've done, I've tried to do some other patterns that don't tell you how to press. It's scary. It's scary. Okay, so let me show you in the center. There is a connecting thread. I'm just taking that connecting thread, clipping it. I'm unsewing these stitches. Are we good? Yep. So those blocks on the board, they were just all four. Uh, box sewn together, patches sewn together, five across, seven down. Okay, I took the seams, I took the thread out, just the seam on one side, just the seam on the other side, and then it's pretty cool. You can just lay it flat and you just go like whoop, you're pushing, you're going counter or clockwise and the 
uh, 12 o'clock goes over, the three goes down, the six goes up, and you just work with that little center, and you mush it good. Woo! How are we doing? Are we okay, Teresa? We're doing great. Yes. Okay. And so then you just push that right there and, and just swirl those seams around. Oh, oh, oh. We don't need that? I don't know. Do we need that? Oh, no. She's trying to clear up my table as I talk. <laughs> okay. We're good. And that's one of 35. Woo! Woohoo! Okay, so I'm going to show you something from my grandson before I go on. Okay, yeah, I know you moved it. You moved it. So I'm just. This is the commercial break. This is grandma time. Okay. So at Thanksgiving, two grandchildren, Orion or um, Jonas and Becca, made sock monkeys. They were so cute. They made sock monkeys. We had so fun. So they came at Christmas, and they couldn't wait to get into the sewing room. And Jonah said, I want to make pants for my sock monkey. <laughs> and Becca had a, a baby that got, came, a baby doll that came with a diaper. And you had to change the diaper. You fed it, and then you changed the diaper. And she said, Grandma, she's dribbling at the mouth. So they all, she needed a bib for the dribble. Jonas, he loves red. So I gave him a piece of red fabric. And he is just like a child. He cut the pants right out of the middle. <laughs> is this typical? <laughs> and then he showed me his pants. You ready? And he said, Grandma, they're skinny jeans. <laughs> I just love it. It's just so, fun, so much fun. And this is, I told Becca one of the bibs, so I told her to draw a pattern, and that's her pattern. So that's good, huh? And we have Jonas's shirt all ready for the next time. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay. Now we're going to do bow tie, bow tie. And it's really fun because you have a whole long pattern on your bow tie. But if you just keep on going to the next page, it says quick cut bow tie. The reason that I did quick cut bow tie is because you already have that cool box of all these little <coughs> triangles for your bow tie, right? You have those all cut. Those are really, really good. And so now I just want you to take uh, five inch charm squares. I'm right here. If you just take one white, and one print. We have, we have this one. We have the farm girl from Lori Holt. This, this one, we have lots of these. If you take one of these and put them together, you have two blocks. Okay, and can you hand me the bow tie? So it's just white five inch and uh, five inch print. This is the bow tie for the eight. You actually have, it's like four parts of this, four parts. So let's just, you could actually put up to six. Oh my gosh, Oof, let's show off, okay? Why don't we do six? Really, so count out six of the white. We are out of the white five inch squares right now, but they are very, very easy. Okay, so the five inch just fits perfect. 
do it very carefully. Okay, place it right on there very carefully. It's really fun with charm packs if you don't like to live dangerously. Cut five and a half inch squares, right? Yeah. Give yourself another half inch. It makes a big difference. <laughs> okay, so that's the white. So cover it up. And then look how cute these are, the little farm girl. They're so fun. I actually took a class with Lori Holt. Okay, so... Oh, did I do too fast? Yeah, Sorry. you did too fast. That's okay. You're okay. So now you're going to take six of these, right? Six of these and line up very carefully. Let's see, bring that one over. It's really fun with charms, with just the fine. So these little guys, look at this. I'm not going to keep these. I am not sewing these together. I refuse. Right? Good for me. I refuse. But look, look how nice they are. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? They're so cute. Very, very cute. Okay, and then you want to do six of these and put them on very carefully, Teresa. Because I'm going to look for my Lori Holt project that I did. I took a class with Lori Holt. She is a very charming farm girl herself. I took it at a Riley Blake retreat. This morning I got up and I said, I know it's somewhere in those 150 unfinished projects. <laughs> and I found it. I got this close before the class ended, but I still didn't finish it. Ta-da! <laughs> and wouldn't you know it's a snowman? And we had snow in Julian. It was really fun. Yes. So anyhow, now I guess I better finish it, huh? <laughs> But anyhow, she does all the really cute, charming things. David will show you. We've been doing a, a kit. Okay, so now, okay, so out of these, six and six, we can make 12 blocks. Yeah? yeah? Right? Okay, so I want, let me see what the time is. Cool, because I did it myself. So here... We've got these and we got these. Okay, so then you just go back in your little box and you find something that would look cute with that. So let's see. How about if we, if we did, okay, we do two the same, two the dark, Oop, like that, like that. And another white here. This is my little block we're building of a bow tie. Looks like a bow tie already, right? And then you go in your little box. What will it be? Do you want to do this one? You want to do blue? Want to do blue check? Nah. Red. Or yellow. Red? Purple. There's no purple in this box. How about yellow? I think the yellow. So. Look, this can be cute. One, two, three. I think it's cute. It is. It is. Isn't it cute? It's just so fun. And look how fast I did it. Do, 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 do. It's magic. Okay, so I, I'm really, the whole lesson was to show you how I press. But it's just really fun. I'm going to pull this over. So when you are working on one bow tie, well, actually. So when you, when you cut your corners with your signature and put these in a box, you have eight of them. So that's enough for two blocks. So you do four whites, one, two, three, four, okay? And then you do four of the same print. Okay, and then I just clip them into groups of four. You wanna keep these all together, right? Yeah. Yep, okay, so then this one right here, 
So I've got the white, and so I'm just going to set real quick. They're still all chained, and I just go like this, right down. Doo -doo. That was fast, right? And now my little cutting gizmo. One, two, three, four. Ah, is that good? So you just cut them real fast. This is how I enjoy doing all of the little bow ties. They're so much fun. So this starts the second one. Okay, this one, all four with the little um, darks. And you want to press them the opposite. So you just turn them all with the bow tie, right side up, set the seam, da-da. And then you just go whoop, and you make that noise, whoop. Just sound like your little telephone when you're sending a message, whoop. OK? And then you just go clip, 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 clip. Oopsies. Now their seams are pressed towards the bow tie. So one, two, three, four. And there it is. Is that cute? That's cute. Really, really cute. Very, very cute. And you actually sew them exactly the same way that I just showed you on your signature. This is what they look like from the wrong side when the seams are swirled. And Press flat, and they all match. Ah, I think I did it. Didn't we see everything? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, look at that. We have everything all ready for you. Ooh. So we actually took the, the Lori, uh, Lori Holt Farm Girl vintage Riley Blake and we put the back, two backgrounds and we put the border, first border, first border, second border in a project bag. You too could have this one. You like that one? I like that one. Okay, and so remember you cut all your little pieces off for your bow ties. And you set those aside. And then if you want, you could, you could get this one for bow ties. OK, so this, this one, these little bright colors, aren't they cute? Well, we have, they're called Spotted. They're from Moda. See all the little solid colors? If you like them in here, you can actually you can get them um, in a layer cake. And I used all of the little farm girl colors as the triangles. Oh my gosh. That was too much fun, huh? Oh, did we have enough fun? Oh, cool. Thank you.